happened, of course. Yeah, many pubs and restaurants opened up their doors, but how did it go? Well, Sean is at a pub in Stockport and can report back for us this morning. Morning, Sean. Morning to you. Yeah, it's just starting to rain a little bit here this morning, but the advantages for the big pubs with the big parasols is that even with all the distancing measures, they can still look to cope with all of that. And it was a, it was a nice buzz here over the weekend, but you look at some of the stats compared to last year, compared to last week, and you can see what the changes have been. So across high streets in England, where obviously a lot of pubs, a lot of barbers were opening over the weekend for the first time, there were 30% more shoppers come Sunday. On Saturday, 20% more shoppers. On Sunday, 30% more people hitting those high streets at that point then, but compared to last year, still way down. And then you, you look generally at businesses right across the country, all those pubs, restaurants, nightclubs, there were still nearly a third of them not open at the weekend, so there's a lot of ground to be made up there. When you look at revenue over the whole year, more than £70 billion is reckoned to have been lost. That's a lot of money employing a lot of people across the country, and therefore that's why the industry is worried that even with the opening at the weekend, and that was good news for a lot of landlords and, and punters around the country, 300,000 or more jobs could still be lost in the industry. Now, we caught up with a few people at a pub over in Salford. Uh, there was a wide range of views about how they felt the weekend went for them. I knew, I knew that we were going to be out of lockdown today, so I booked the whole weekend off work because I thought, I'm going to the pub and I'll be there all weekend, and I am. I've been there. I was there Saturday, I'm, I'm here Sunday. Probably be back tomorrow. Because <laughs> I can. It sounds a bit bleak saying it, but enjoy it while it lasts sort of thing because... You never know what's around the corner, so it's like everyone's just getting in this weekend. Um, yeah, it's it's a welcome change, isn't it? After three months of being locked up at home. I can't quite bring myself to go inside and sit down. I'm just a little bit wary about going inside. But sitting outside and plenty of fresh air blowing around, I feel quite confident. And it's so nice to just relax with people around. We're ready to go out, but we don't want to go out on a Saturday night where it's jam packed. We're going to give it a bit of time, but our kids are a bit different. You know, they can't wait to get out. So they're raring to go, but for us, for us and for our friends, this is just perfect for us right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's great to finally have a pint from the, from the pub. So yeah, cheers. So there you go, that, that, some, some happy customers there. I've got Hugh with me, who's the landlord here at the Elizabethan eye, Hugh. Um, so we had customers there. How was it for you in charge, the run up to Saturday and then the doors open? We had a very stressful week, to be honest with you. There was a lot of planning going on back of house and in head office trying to get everything. Health and safety is obviously our prime concern for, for our customers. But when we opened on, on Saturday morning, it was fantastic. We had a great response all weekend. People are mad to get back out into the pubs, out of the houses and support local businesses. What was the biggest thing you learnt, do you think? There's always something, isn't there? I, I, think, I think people's uh, ability to change. We have so many rules and regulations in place now, all done by the government, which we, we've, we've implemented, and, and people were happy to, to, to uh, walk along with us. Now, the weather was a bit better over the weekend than it, was, it is, is bit, now, yeah. but you actually do have an advantage of parasols and things like that, but also, if you're reliant on a beer garden and you've got to be social distancing, the weather turns, how much do you think of what happened at the weekend is sustainable over the weeks and months for you? We were very lucky in that the rain we got at the weekend in this part of the country was just at uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday night. We had no rain for the other the, the Saturday or the Sunday. So obviously it's going to bring another challenge to us. Um, it's very difficult to try and, and, and walk in an outside area without anybody being able to come in and social distancing. So it's just keeping customers informed, keeping them that there is going to be a, a, a gap and there, is, there will not be any tables for them inside unless they're booked. And I guess now you've got numbers on exactly how many people you yes. were able yeah, to yeah. get through compared to a normal busy Saturday evening yeah. in the summer. How was that? Uh, it's been very good. If anything else, it's easier to plan because you know who's coming. Uh, so our numbers are down about 40% with, with social distancing, but we know during the course of the day that people are coming in intervals and, and it's, it's easier to manage and to serve. And do you have the same number of staff coming in even though you're serving fewer people? We do actually, it's more labour intensive trying to do floor service inside and out, although we always done it inside, the, 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 the beer garden brings a different challenge. Feels like that doesn't quite add up if you've got 40 percent fewer customers, but you've well, got more labour intensive. It's, it's what we have to do, and, and, and like the government, we change every day and every week, and hopefully the the, 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 the laws will change next week again, and, and we might see a little bit more easing. But that's all if it's all managed properly. And fingers crossed for the weather as and we go. The up. weather, well, that, that's in the lap of the gods, really, isn't it? Yeah, I guess you're used to having to handle that. We're used to it, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hugh, thanks very much for having us this morning. No we'll problem. Be, we'll be speaking to the uh, boss of the brewery a little bit later that has a, a whole range of, of pubs uh, right across the country because there's calls from the industry
Ministry this morning for more support. The Chancellor is going to be talking on Wednesday, of course, big statement, a raft of announcements of where some spending might well be and where some raising cash might well come from. Uh, so uh, a lot of stuff to be discussed. But uh, the industry here, at least they were open at the weekend uh, in pubs and restaurants in England. Sean, thank you very much for that. Thank you watching Breakfast today with Louise and Dan. Let's get you up to date uh, with some things that have been going on. People in England, of course, enjoyed their first night out after three months of lockdown over this weekend. Uh, many pubs and restaurants opened their doors, but how did it go? Well, I'm, I'm not sure if Sean was there over the weekend, but he's back at the, uh, back at the pub this morning in Stockport. Morning, Sean. Yeah, morning to you. No, I, I didn't. I, I've, I've held off myself uh, for a bit. But this pub here in Stockport this morning, the Elizabethan, was open. The beer garden was full. There was a nice warm buzz. Uh, not quite the, the uh, same situation this morning with the weather. But it's just being on the high street here in Stockport this morning is a real reminder with the delis, the cafes, the different bars. Not all of them decided to open at the weekend about how important it is for the high street. And we've got some figures about how many people actually decided to head out over the weekend. So if we look at these footfall figures, on Saturday they were up 20% compared to the same time the week before. On Sunday, it was up 30%, so maybe a few people were watching to see how the pubs and restaurants all opened on uh, earlier on in the weekend. But when you look at the whole number of businesses, nighttime businesses, restaurants, nightclubs, bars, 30% or more of them still didn't open at the weekend. You look at revenues across the whole industry, and it's reckoned that £70 billion or more will be lost in revenues this year. And when that comes to what that means for jobs, more than 300,000 jobs are still expected to be at risk, even though pubs and bars have started to open. Now, how was it for the customers? Well, we spoke to a few at a pub in Salford uh, just to see what they made of this return to having a drink. I knew, I knew that we were going to be out of lockdown today, so I booked the whole weekend off work because I thought, I'm going to the pub and I'll be there all weekend, and I am. I've been there. I was there Saturday, I'm, I'm here Sunday. Probably be back tomorrow. Because <laughs> I can. It sounds a bit bleak saying it, but enjoy it while it lasts sort of thing because you never know what's around the corner, so it's like everyone's just getting in this weekend. Um, yeah, it's, it's a welcome change, isn't it, after three months of being locked up at home. <laughs> I can't quite bring myself to go inside and sit down. I'm just a little bit wary about going inside. But sitting outside and plenty of fresh air blowing around, I feel quite confident. And it's so nice to just relax with people around. We're ready to go out, but we don't want to go out on a Saturday night where it's jam-packed. We're going to give it a bit of time. But our kids are a bit different. You know, they can't wait to get out. So they're raring to go. But for us, for us and for our friends, this is just perfect for us right now yeah I mean I mean it's great to finally have a pipe from the from the pump so yeah cheers so that confidence that we heard from uh, one lady there about being outdoors that maybe a few customers here had that I've got William Lee Jones with me who is in charge of well William you're managing director of JW Lease the brewery 150 pubs you've got does it does it make a difference did you notice over the weekends the ones that had a big outdoor space and the ones that didn't uh, not really. It was the weather that was uh, a bit miserable in the northwest, to be honest. Uh, right. Well, we, we're seeing a bit of bit of that this morning. What was it like for you at the weekend, though? Twenty five percent of your pubs you decided to open. How did it go? Uh, we opened twenty five percent of the pubs. Uh, we learned a lot. Uh, we were surprised how customers were up to speed with all of the new ways of doing things. Uh, from a business perspective, we were down about a third, uh, down more on food than we were with drink but people behaved really well, people wanted to come out to their pubs, and it was just great to put smiles on people's faces again. Yeah, and, and doing the, what, the whole point of these buildings and everybody working towards it is to, is to do that. You say you're down a third uh, on your takings. Uh -huh. Is that sustainable over the coming months, as probably as expected it's going to stay? Regulations are going to be very similar to this for a bit. Well, we think that there were quite a lot of people that just wanted to come back to the pub. So there's always going to be that initial surge. Uh, there's a lot of people who are waiting to see. You know, we've made safety our first and foremost priority, but it would be really good to see the Chancellor give some sort of incentive this week, maybe a VAT cut to, to 5%, get people out in pubs, get people spending money. So can you explain why that, as an example, because the hospitality industry is asking for quite a few things to say it needs the support to get through the rest of the year, support jobs. Why would a cut in VAT help you? I mean, we get people spending money. 
I think that the hospitality sector employs three million people. Uh, they're all reasonably fragile jobs. And if we get people out into town centres, I just give the confidence to, uh, to shop a little bit. And uh, if we shop more and uh, we get out into pubs, then we all pay more tax. And could that be the make or break for you about what you do with your staff here and whether you keep as many people on as you've got? Uh, so far, you know, furlough's been amazing for us. We've been able to uh, retain every single job within JDB Lees. But over the next four weeks, as we reopen our pubs, we'll get a better and better impression uh, in terms of how we're doing. And what difference does the weather make to you? If, if you, so We've had some great weather during lockdown, you know, a bit of a, a grim few days maybe ahead. Could that hit you as much as some of the changes in regulations? Well, obviously lockdown's been terrible for everybody, but uh, as a publican, to have lockdown and all the amazing good weather that we've had, yeah, it would have been the most amazing summer, and we've really missed that. So, fing fingers crossed then. Fingers for the, crossed for, the for a great summer. summer, Sean. Thanks, William. So, yeah, I mean... You, you, you can't quite imagine, can you, what it must be like to, to run a business and have seen the weather we've had and then you get your beer gardens open and a bit of drizzles on the way. So, yeah, hopefully uh, a bit better news over the coming months. But a big day on Wednesday for a lot in the hospitality industry when the Chancellor makes that statement. Typical. Uh, Sean, thank you very much. Thank you. So people